allbrands.com. We're so excited to be here today. Today is a very revolutionary, exciting, oh my gosh, we're making history today because we have two new amazing products in the sewing industry. And we actually, I know we promised you one, but we have two amazing manufacturers that are coming to show us all of these wonderful things. So let us know where you're watching from. How's the weather there? What have you been working on lately? And let's just say hey to a few folks. Oh my goodness, Linda from Denmark. Good to see you on the show. We have Canada. Ah, uh, Northern Wisconsin. Uh, I wish I could say hey to everybody, but I'm just going to give you a big wave. And we're going to go to Oregon and Utah today. That's right. So uh, first I'm going to bring in Stacy from So Steady Products in Oregon. Hi. <laughs> so you're muted right now, I think, because I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, so while Stacy checks her sound, I'm going to bring you and show you our next amazing guest that we have. And that's, guess what? Drum roll, please. Nathan from the Grace Company. That, that was very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be with you today, Barbara. Wonderful to be here. Oh my gosh. And uh, I'm so hello, happy. Hello, everybody, everybody out there joining Barbara. <laughs> Wonderful. We're so happy. Okay, so let's share your visitors. Denmark, that's crazy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see if we can get us all three on the screen. <laughs> hey, Stacy. So so we have some really amazing new products. So the Grace Company, um, it has been unleashed. Um, prior to this video, but they made a table talk, tabletop quilting frame. And So Steady has made a very unique, awesome, new, revolutionary um, extension tape, not extension table. They make extension tables. It is a ruler base for domestic machines. That is an industry first. So before we have Stacy explain the ruler base, um, Nathan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the cutie frame that's available? Right. Will we'll do. And, and again, thanks for giving me a, a little bit of a shout. I'm going to move the camera back just a tiny bit because this is this is pretty amazing to see. So everybody that's joining us, uh, Barbara, you and your team, uh, we just want to come back from here from Grace Company as a manufacturer and say thank you so much for your willingness and your participation with our products. You do a, a wonderful job. I, I know that you provide amazing customer service. And again, your reach is very vast. So thank you for um, sharing and letting me share part of this with the crowd and everybody we have in front of us. I am sitting in front of, I'm gonna lower this camera just a little bit so we can see what we refer to as the Cutie Tabletop Frame. And this is a frame, Barbara. This changes everything. This is a game changer. And I love what you talked about, some new things that are going to change the way people can experience quilting and the ways they can use their machine. This allows you to take your domestic machine and it sets it on top of a frame. I'll bring one over here really quick. It's gonna be a little bit big, but this is actually part of a portable frame that can be lifted up and it can be installed and it can be set on a table that allows you to move and let you draw with your domestic machine super easy, super simple. And it, it removes a lot of those restrictions. You can quilt any size project, small one foot table runners. Right now I have a, a much larger quilt that kind of drapes over part of the side like you can see. And so you're not limited, Barbara, taking your domestic machine, sitting it on part of a trolley and then allowing you to guide it. In fact, I have a foot pedal here. I'll just turn this on for a second. So light, so easy to deal with and this changes the way that you can now experience finishing all those quilts. Uh, Barbara, I'd love to reach back out to you. If we were to see, I don't know how many people would comment, but I'm curious, raise of hands. How many people have at least one unfinished quilt? Two? Is there five? Is there 10? Think about part of what you've looked and what you're wanting to do in completing those. This product specifically makes it super easy for your consumers to go ahead and now complete all all of their own quilts 
in their home without having to give up any space. No space required, sits on the table, your kitchen, your, your, your uh, dining room table, a foldable table, it works on all of those surfaces. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sharon Hoff says she has eight. <laughs> How funny is that? So I gotta tell you, I am totally in the market for the new cutie frame. Not only is it under a thousand dollars, um, it's portable. Um, I don't have to like have a designated area in my sewing room. I could just pick it up when I want to use that space for something else and, and then bring it back out. And I can tell you, I've been doing, uh, I'm sure you hate to hear this, but quilting on my embroidery machine. Great place and to start. A great way to do stuff. I have hoop envy on those long arms because even with my top of the line brother um luminaire it does a 10 and a half by 16 inch area and that's the largest that it will go without rehooping and pulling up my thread every time so what's the surface area of this cutie frame really great question if i were to tell you the space a lot of people um when we started to talk to consumers their number one was really well how wide is it nathan and then what kind of would be the table size? This is four feet wide. So if you, you were saying that you were limited to about 10 by 12 or how big was it? Oh, 10 and a half, 10 and five eighths by 16 inches. So there you go. Time, it's pretty good. This is going to be Very up to good. about 30 inches to 36 on the width. And then the depth, if you're using your domestic machine, you can use the full depth of the machine. So, you know, something like the Luminaire is even a little bit deeper. You can use the full depth of the machine to go from front to back. And so that is one of those things. And then again, going through that section would then cause you to rehook. So you're four feet wide, about 48 inches wide, and you're going to want about three feet from front to back. However, however, the table, you can do but a little four foot table by about 22 inches is all you need on the surface for it to sit on there. So it doesn't require a whole lot of space. Yeah. So Babette's joining us from Louisiana and she says that this actually uses your domestic machine um, and sits on the frame. So I see the handles and the, um, the base are on there for moving your machine around. So you can totally use any domestic machine. Yep, and I'll show you. This is the little tray that sits underneath here. Super simple. You can see that there's no restrictions. The machine sits right on this. And then we actually have a little couple wheel systems that make it very easy to move this back and around. So let me use this cutter here. So again, that's what makes this super light and super easy to move is that machine just sits right on, right on this surface here. And then we can move that around through and over the fabric. Yeah. So what if I get a quilting machine and I don't feel very confident about my free motion quilting? Well, guess what? So Steady makes an amazing prop. So Steady actually owns the rights to Westerly in the United States, uh, which makes hundreds and hundreds of rulers. I don't know if you can hear me, Stacy, or if we can hear you. For some reason, we lost her audio. But, but let me just Barbara, tell you. Barbara, with Ooh. part of that, you know, with, with that whole combination, and I think this is what she's going to show, you know, we, we do a lot of things. You carry a lot of our mid and our long arm machines, much larger frames, all of those things. What we found out is, to your point, if a customer goes to get started, you don't have to be a master. You can be someone who doesn't know. You're not sure how to move that machine. And a group like, like So Steady and being able to have those templates and those ruler works, we wanted to make sure that you could do everything that you already might know on how to do with that ruler work on the frame now. And so they have come up. And you can go ahead and share a little bit more. Maybe she's available to talk to us a little bit about her combination that they come out with with that new ruler base for all the Yes. I think we have her. Hey, it's Yay. Yay. Hey. All right. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the ruler base. And then we have had a chance to play with this a little bit because Nathan so generously sent us this, this amazing frame, which you can now see I have set up on a tabletop here. So we've got this in our conference room here at So Steady. And um, what we've done is we've got our brother machine set up on here. 
um, which, you know, we love brother and I know all brands loves brother as well, but our Paramount dealer who's here in Eugene, Oregon was able to get us loan this, us this machine. So we wanted to give them a little shout out too. Um, but what we've got is we've got the machine right here on the platform and, um, we've set it up. So we've lowered the bar. So I don't know if Nathan showed how easy it is to lower and raise the actual system, but all you have to do is go ahead and use these little attachers that you see right here to raise and lower this. So super, super handy for being able to get it to the right height of your machine. Um, and you just do that on both sides. So we've just adjusted the height that easily. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna attach you into my little uh, phone holder here and make it so we can show you how to install a table, your ruler base that we have for this onto the machine. Are you guys ready to see that, Barbara? I think so. <laughs> Nathan's clapping. I'm excited. While she's doing that, I'm going to bring you back on screen uh, because I want to. We had a question from uh, Betty Bain, which is a very good question. So, Betty asks, How sturdy is the frame and what weight does it hold? That's a great question. Let me show you how sturdy. One of the considerations and one thing that uh, from Grace Company is we know that quality is an important part. You can have value, but there is no value without quality. So we built this and I'll just show you a couple key things that we did because if you're going to pick it up and store it and put it back on the frame, I'm going to move the screen back just a little bit to show you how sturdy this is. I'm going to kind of step okay. back here and I want to show everybody. <laughs> Try not to make you guys too seasick. Here is. Here we go. And it actually has welded steel tubing that once you put it together, create an incredibly robust. So it's very, very sturdy. When we pick it up, you'll notice that nothing moves. There's no flex. There's no shifting of this. So incredibly sturdy. And one of the weight items, which is a great question, there's not really a concern as long as the table that you're setting it on can help hold some of the weight of your domestic machine. The frame itself has a smooth rolling tracking carriage that really, with our normal process, we take it all upwards of 75 pounds. And so, Barbara, coming back to you, it can hold pretty much all of the domestics, a lot of them at arms. And then at allbrands.com, you can also find that they sell a 15 inch machine that's stitch regulated and a 19 inch machine as well that work on this same frame. So I have a question and someone else asked it in the comments because I knew I was going to ask this one too. Um, if I were to put like a luminaire, what frame would I need for a big machine like that? Well, one of the great things is this particular frame. If you're going to use Luminaire, this does work just as well as our other frames. And I say that because this is a welded steel tubing with the platform. The Luminaire, what's really nice is it's a wide machine. It's really thick. It's really wide at the back. There's no restrictions. There's no handlebars coming up and above it. There's no headpiece that has to hold handles together. So that Luminaire would sit nicely on this platform for the QD specifically. So this frame has been made to withstand and hold even those very large machines or something like the Luminaire with no problem at all. Oh, I'm so excited. But I think I would wanna have my Luminaire embroidering while my uh, I'll put a domestic machine or a long arm on the QD yes. frame and have that one going. Yeah, so, I know you have some great combos with those domestic machines as well. So there's some wonderful things that you have there at All Brands. Yeah. So let us know um, if you have a dedicated embroidery machine and a separate for your for your long arm. So Stacy, are you ready to show us some more? Yeah. Things? So All let right. me show you how we're going to install that um, ruler base onto your machine. So you know, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but we've already got the machine on the platform itself. And there's these really cool locks that I'm going to show you in a minute that lock that machine to the platform. What I'm showing now is our ruler base table. So I've already installed three of the legs on the table and I use just like our other so steady tables. It's an adjustable foot height. So what your goal is, is to go ahead and install the legs and then have them be at the correct height of your actual uh, machine once it's it's on the platform itself. So now I got the uh, the machine on the platform, and I'm going to go ahead and put the ruler base on it. So I'm going to go ahead and 
move this over because that's how handy it is. You can just move it over that easy. So now you should be able to see the machine on the actual screen here. So what I've done is I'm now putting the ruler base onto the machine. So I've got it that way, and then I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you it from the side angle as well. I've just slid it right onto the machine, and it's sitting on the platform. We've got these really cool hook system, which I'm sure Nathan um, has explained a little bit, but this is gonna be what holds your quilt up, kind of the, the excess that you're not using. And we're gonna even try to put a quilt on the frame today um, and show you how that might work as well. What do you think about that, Barbara? I think that's amazing because I love in-depth, I love learning and especially about things that I don't know a lot about yet. Absolutely. Like this to know all of the possibilities. I'm so excited. Cool. So what I've done now is I put that ruler base on. Now notice that the legs are actually sitting on the rail here. So that's really important to understand because our ruler base is always going to be the width of the actual platform. And so that will never change. So depending on the machine you choose, we will actually change the cutout that you see on this base to work with your machine. So if you don't have the Brother PQ 1500, then you might be able to put like your Brother Louvenier on here and um, this, this shape on the inside cutout will change. One thing that won't change is that we're always going to actually have um, the leg system basically an inch back from the edge of this platform. And I think it's really good to understand for ruler bases, you want to get maximum um, amount of space that you can quilt within your frame. That's the goal. And the maximum amount of space that you can quilt within your frame is that throat size, isn't it, Barbara? Yeah. So Stacy, I, I love that your family owned business that you are part of the family. I love that. Um, and also Grace is a family owned business and so is all brands, which is wonderful. Um, so they custom cut these extension tables for use with Westerly ruler templates so that if you're not comfortable with free motion quilting, um, you can start with the Westerly ruler method, which is awesome. Um, you can have a high shank, a low shank, a high shank special, a mid shank machine. Any domestic machine will fit on this platform and with the ruler base combo. Now let me come back to Grace and make sure that I told them the correct information. Um, do you want to chime in on that, Nathan? I think you'll have to unmute yourself. I, I was trying to keep some of my chaotic background to it. Now, thank you very much. But you're absolutely right, Barbara. You know, I would come back and that was one of our key goals with this. You know, if you think about yourself and you've been working at solving and quilting in other ways, whether that be on the embroidery machine, uh, we find that most people have pieced several different tops in. One of the biggest struggles is pushing and moving all that fabric. And so we really wanted to make sure that we could make this available with pretty much as many people as we possibly could. So that big open platform that lets you put a domestic machine, the one thing that we say is you need to make sure you can lower your feed dogs. If you can't lower your feed dogs, then you kind of can't do that free motion type of darning process. And so you need to make sure that your machine will allow those feed dogs to not be sticking through so that they're not grabbing as you're moving fabric, that you can reduce those and move them below the surface. If you can do that, then you can put a machine on this platform and simply move it around with those handles in that carriage system. So that's a that's a great uh, a question to have. And that's really what we're trying to do is open this up to a much broader audience. And I love what you're talking about here with, with uh, Stacy is now with this this extra ruler base. It's another tool and another accessory that helps customers find confidence and do something they might already be doing on their domestic. But now with the motion of the free motion systems that you kind of can get in long arms. So yeah, I need to find success easily. <laughs> and if I spend hours piecing a quilt top together, I want to know that, you know, if I'm doing uh, top stitching on it, I have the option to do the Westerly ruler work with it too. So Stacy, I'm gonna come back to you and you can talk about the compatibility of the uh, ruler base. What I was going to show you is now that I've got the ruler base on the platform, notice that it will tilt up if I put pressure on the front. 
So I wanted to add in that we have a few additional items that come with your, with your table and your four legs. So including with the ruler base table, you're also going to get these cool little things called table locks. Now these are really important because this is going to secure your ruler base to that machine. And that's going to ensure that you go ahead and um, doesn't pop up in the front or on the, or slide off on either side. So what I've done is I've pulled this out. Um, this already had the suction cup installed on it, but I'm just gonna show you how easily it is. You just would, secure the suction cup to that little hook section and then it comes with two pieces of hook and loop you put one on this section right here and then you secure the other hook and loop to the actual machine so I've gone ahead and secure I'm gonna go ahead and push the hook and loop on to where I secured it earlier to the machine so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right there and then I'm going to go ahead and suction it up to the table. Now that is secured to the back of the table. So when I put pressure on the front of the table, which you can see right here, it's not going to pop up in the back. Look how easy that is. So that's really important in the installation of your actual uh, ruler base onto your um, machine and onto the platform. So, you know, a few of the questions uh, that might come up too is how will this uh, table work if you have like a really big machine or a really small machine? And, it, and the simple answer is that you're going to go ahead and secure that machine onto the platform using these really cool little locks that come onto the actual platform itself. And then our table is designed to basically always sit about an inch back um, from the actual uh, tip of the free arm. So you'll actually move the machine on the platform to be able to work with that, um, with that combination. Um, so the table will be able to, to go ahead and secure onto the platform with the table locks. And then you're securing the machine with the locks that come on the frame. And there you go, you have your actual table now, your ruler base installed onto your QD frame. Should we show them how they might put some fabric on it? How yes. They might I, secure a quilt? I think that would be great because I know that we want to show ruler work so that you can understand why the ruler base is so important um, on this QD frame in conjunction with the Westerly ruler templates. Um, so I'd love to see that. But let's let's head on while she's setting that up. We're going to head on back to <laughs> Utah <laughs> with Nathan from Grace. And <laughs> here he is. So Nathan, I got so many questions. Will this work with this machine? Will this work with this machine? I have a whole list of ones to ask you. Um, <laughs> is there any machines that it's not compatible with? Uh, again, let me let me hit first maybe show you how and why this is so universal. I'm gonna just I have in front of me what Stacy was pointing at. So let me show you so that people can understand. Oh, that's why it's it's so universal. Then let me just throw out there again another couple items that I would just tell you. Consider these things, and then also some things to be looking forward to. So she was talking about we have what we call these machine base clamps. And this is what we use and it slides in and out and I'll come up here closer. So these slide in and out and this is what we use to pinch the machine to keep it from moving and shifting. So if we actually look at this, we have them in the front and in the back. You don't need both of them to touch. If you happen to have a smaller machine, we would recommend making sure that at least one set can help hold that machine. That keeps the machine from kind of wanting to move. It doesn't usually move much at all anyway. We have done this with all of our frames that we literally have produced for the last 10 years and plus. And so the machine's weight does a great job of holding it. So coming back to compatibility, I just want to tell you there's always a couple things to consider. One is just how big your machine is. If you're already using it, Barbara, at home and you're trying to push your fabric through, a lot of times people are only doing straight lines because that's all they can do by the time they roll it up. One of the great things about this frame is the way that the fabric is put onto the frame and held. It actually allows you to have a little bit more room in order to, to quilt through that. So if you might have like a, you know, a seven inch machine, um, understanding that the quilt starts to fill part of the throat, you'd still already, if you're trying to move or push it through, you end up getting to do that easier by moving the machine over the surface and by having the fabric bunched, like we can kind of see here on the front or in the throat, it actually gives you a chance to do more motion like you would draw. So even if you have a smaller machine, 
you can still utilize this system to help you do a lot more quilting than you're already doing. I love to throw the caveat out there. We know that a lot of people, and I always tell them very clearly, understand there's usually two type of people when they start looking at moving their machine around on a frame like this. Somebody is going to do one or two projects a year, and that's great. They're going to find that, you know what, I, I'm doing those only every now and then. We find that there's a secondary person that gets into doing this and they start finding, wow, this is a lot easier than I thought. I'm, I'm able to control my machine with less effort. I'm having a lot less strain on my body. And they're getting through projects a little bit more frequently. What we find is that those people tend to start looking for what's next or what's a little bit more. And we love to prepare them, whether that's a secondary machine like you talk about if you're using your luminaire. You know, you're probably wanting to keep that on the side and embroider to do your embroidery. Some people would try that, but we would recommend find a dedicated machine. Get something that's uh, like the one that you have that you're going to be talking a little bit about great nine inch high speed system that does give you quite a bit more quilting space. So just understand and know that there's always a progression. And once we find something we like, we're probably wanting a little bit more and that's part of where we go with this. So. Yeah. So they're available for pre-order now. Um, and we are going to be getting them in, in February. It's going to be a limited amount. Um, and so the pre-order is, is good. And I have an amazing combination deal for the end of this video. So don't, forget about that. But I do know that you have a promotion right now on the cutie for some, uh, some, some free items with it. Correct. Yep, there's a couple for all, small freebies. So if you uh, order at allbrands.com, we're including um, a couple pack, a pack of threads uh, that you're going to be able to get. It's a, a really nice uh, thread that we've made and that we're comboing in there. So um, it's a, a variegated set, which a lot of people love. So it's a multicolor set of threads that we're including along with some little mini quilt clips as well and some pins. And so those are all a complimentary present that we're including with those people excited to get started with something like this new wonderful cutie frame. Yeah. So I actually, I put that on the front of the screen for everybody. If you're interested in just the cutie frame, um, it's under a thousand dollars. Can you believe it? And you get extras and free show. Are you clapping? I love yeah. it. <laughs> awesome. Like that's, you can that's, that's finance that. It's amazing. Yeah, so six months, 0% financing on that. We have free shipping on our website and freebies. And it comes with the carriage and the handle. So I'm so, so super excited about that. Um, that deal that's available on our website, allbrands.com. Barbara, let, let me show you this. I'm going to step out. <laughs> While he's doing that, I'm going to... Where, 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 where are we? Now, I wanted to bring this up. This is, uh, this is interesting. Think about it. If you're a quilter, uh, let's say you've just started piecing. Let's say you're not even quilting and you're hopefully watching this with looking for some inspiration and some thoughts. I want to encourage you and I want you to understand and know one of the other big challenges we find with customers and you know our different quilters is there is this notion too. If you think, oh, quilting, and I'm going to get into quilting and I need a machine or a frame, usually the mind goes to they're big, they take a ton of space. The other big thing is there's this cost, right? Well, we came out with this cutie frame to help break all those barriers. It doesn't require a lot of space. It can be transported. It can be stowed. It works with what you already have. And I'm going to show you this. It also comes in a simple box. And this doesn't make a lot of sense to hold up. I love to show people. There's a box. It's an entire frame, literally in a box. Everything that you need gets delivered to your door. No, you don't need to be an engineer to build it. This is the easiest frame we've ever built. And in fact, Barbara, it doesn't even require tools to put your machine on and off when you store it. You saw Stacy lift and raise those in order to take the rail out. It's a simple piece, simple. We wanted to make sure that you didn't have to keep track of a tool or know where parts and pieces were. They all can be clipped to the frame. It's easily set up. It's easily stowed in a way that nobody's ever done this before with the frame for I those people it. looking to quilt at home. Thank you so much, Nathan. And I we weren't expecting you to come on the show. And it's always so nice to have visitors. And uh, we got to go on two trips today to Utah and Oregon. So we're going to hop on. I want to thank you again. Um, Thanks. And we're going to say toodaloo for today. Um, but we'll definitely be back on with you in the future. And we're going to transition over to Stacy. Take soon. care, everybody. Thank you. Okay. All right, Stacy, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Here so we go. 
we've got this gorgeous quilt that Jerry here at So Steady has been is finishing, and he's excited to learn how to use this awesome ruler base. So we are actually putting this on the cutie frame right now. So I was gonna say if if um, we had our expertise person here, he might be able to help us make sure we're doing this all right. But let's just do this together and see how it goes. How does that sound? I love it. I always okay. learn best by watching. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and just, um, I, we're spreading this across the frame right now. You can see that the machine is down here on this end. And we're going to go ahead and pre um, take the top of the quilt and just put it across the frame area. Now we've chosen to adjust our frame so it can maximize the depth that we have available for the throat of the machine. So we've gone ahead and, and adjusted it to be able to get the entire area of that throat to quilt at the same time. Yeah, so. and then Stacy, I'm getting some questions like from Carol Lombard. Thanks for joining us again, uh, Carol. Oh, well, she said would love to learn ruler work, but uh, Betty says, how deep does your neck have to be? So a neck, not this neck, but the neck of your machine is from your needle to the end of the, um, the neck of your machine. And that's basically how much area you have to quilt at one time, as far as it will go forward and back inside the frame without before hitting that bar. So yeah, um, I don't think there's a rule. I there's no just, rule. <laughs> no, I think it's just like what, you know, I would say the, the bigger the neck of the machine, the more you're going to have for clearance. Yeah, so, exactly. But look at how much space left to right you're still gonna be able to sew in all at once before moving. So That's why it's that, on my list. Yep, exactly. So not only do you have that as a benefit, but also, you know, if you do have one of these great machines that has a little bit more throat space, then you have that as well. So notice that I'm just using these little um, channels here to secure the quilt onto the frame. So we've gone ahead and secured the front and now we're gonna go ahead and use these awesome straps that come with. All right, so it looks like we may have lost Stacy from So Steady, but I wanna just, she's gonna hop back in, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm gonna show you a close up of the ruler base here that we were talking about. Um, and this is the made of made out of acrylic. It's custom cut to fit your exact domestic machine. Um, and they do that at their family owned facility in Oregon. Oh look, here's Stacy again. About that. <laughs> I was just telling I was showing them the the ruler base. Oh um, good, good, good. Yeah, your quote right now. So now you can see that we have that on the frame itself. So this is the gorgeous Jenny Byer quilt that, look at this guy. He quilted this all by himself. Great job, Hi. Jerry. <laughs> everybody, this is Jerry. Hi, everybody. He's the reason we're here today. Yeah. So Jerry is the president of So Steady, and every now and then we get to get him on the camera, but he stays behind the scenes more than ever. So, <laughs> so we are now going to go ahead and secure up with the, with the elastic. So now, yep, you just use that hook right there. There you go. And you're yeah, hooking. Is simple. Isn't that easy? So you're just using the straps to go ahead and secure it. So now we've already put a ruler foot on this. Look at this, guys. We've got a ruler foot on the machine and we were going to try to go ahead and show you how to do some ruler quilting with it, but I'm not sure that we actually have um, the time to do that today, but you see the ruler foot there. Let's just show them how we would move the tool, check, the template. Yeah, check the table out. It's from here to here, but when I move, the table's moving with it. So I constantly have a table underneath and a solid surface exactly. to use my templates on. So what I was going to do is I was going to show them how we would put the ruler on there. And so instead of moving the, um, instead of the actual template moving after every design, what you're going to do is you're going to hold the template still, and now you're going to use the arms to move it along the edge of the template. So notice that. Let's go ahead and put the foot down. Go ahead and move it along the edge. And I'm holding that with one hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Very cool. I agree, Gail. This is going to be great. Isn't that neat? <laughs> yeah. So, so he's going to get some experience. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. 
he's going to get some experience with this. And then we're going to actually show him, uh, show you how he's quilting this once he becomes an expert. How does that sound? I love it. I love it so much. And I'm Excellent. so excited about these new products. So you see, these are our Westerly rulers. This is our arc template. This is one of our best selling, you know, get started rulers. And so we're basically going to show you this actually takes two hands to do. So that's why we needed his hands in there too. <laughs> um, but that's how you would be able to go ahead and use rulers and use a quilting frame all together. So we're excited about this because this is going to be doing those big quilt tops. This is going to make it a whole lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a few questions. Um, is this on a domestic or a frame? So this is, um, Jackie, this is a domestic machine. So whatever sewing machine you have at home, you can use on the tabletop cutie quilting frame by Grace, and you can add on the So Steady, now new, <laughs> brand new product, domestic ruler base uh, to use the Westerly ruler templates on a frame with your domestic machine, which could never be done before. And you can fold up the, or put the cutie away when you're not using it and bring it back out on your table when you're ready to use it. It's just, it's a system, a, a great system. Look at that. So now Jerry's using another template there. That's our spinning wheels number 36. And he's, uh, again, just getting the feel. This is just like learning ruler work for the first time. Getting the feel for having to, having to um, move the arm of a frame instead of the template. So this is kind of like the opposite of when you're doing it on a home machine, when you're stationary. What we're doing here is we're moving the arm mm -hmm. and going around the design. But I think he's going to be an expert I'm really learn, soon. I'm learn in a hurry. <laughs> so then, Barbara, should we take a minute and show him um, a couple other special offers we have right now with our So Steady tables? Yeah. So you have some awesome specials going on. I'll come full screen. Um, I actually own So Steady's extension table. It's the large here. And um, it's great. But guess what? They have one that's even better because it has drawers underneath and it's called the wish table. So the wish uh, table has a special going on right now where if you add on, um, if you purchase it, you can add on a glide like, uh, okay. So if, can you imagine a bowling alley uh, <laughs> floor, how slippery it is? Well, they have a cover on it that you can add for just a dollar. So Stacy, are you ready to come back in? I am ready. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I have got our So City Wish table on our uh, machine here. And you can see that beautiful blue drawer. You can see that um, we've got this nice large table. This is actually considered our giant wish. So this is a bigger machine. And so we put a giant wish on there. Um, and so with that, uh, Barbara was mentioning that we have our grid glider as a promotion. So for just $1 extra, you can get a grid glider with this table here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you again what that looks like. So it's a super slick surface. But then what people are loving is that it's got all of these awesome markings right at your needle area. So basically, not only are you getting that super slick surface, which I can actually show you really quick, you would peel the backing off and then it secures super duper easy to the tabletop area. And that's how you're able to go ahead and um, really take advantage of those markings and have everything lined up right there with your needle area. So I've got that secured now onto my table, just that easy. And now I have my quarter inch markings, my five eighths inch marking. I've got a three eighths inch marking and then this awesome grid, even 35 and 45 and 60 degree angles. So if you haven't taken advantage of our grid glider yet, and you need a new table, maybe you got a new machine this last year, then I highly recommend looking into our wish table with this awesome grid glider combo, because you're going to love it for all kinds of sewing projects. We do have one thing we want to give away today, Barbara. Can I show that off now? Yeah, you can, but I need to know, and the, everybody needs to know, when is that special for the grid glider extra for only a dollar um, over? Oh, March 31st. Okay. 
So it's got a while. 2021, because you may yeah. be watching this in the future. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so the Grip Lighter is not a new product, but that is their new promotion that's going on right that now. That is a promotion with our wish table. So I have one more new thing that I actually wanted to show everybody. And this is actually called our ruler caddy. So I'm going to go ahead and take you a little bit further down the table area here. And I'm going to show you this new ruler caddy that we've got. So what we put together here is this really cool option for being able to secure your... Um, I'll let Tona when she's ready. It's shaking a little bit. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> that might be a little bit better. Okay. You ready? So this is, yep. I'm ready. Okay. So what we have here is this really cool little cup holder, if you will, that you can secure to the side of um, any of our Sew City tables. So you can kind of see it there. It's this clear, um, it's called our Sew City table caddy. And basically you can put your cup in it. So you make sure it doesn't go anywhere or knock off the table or God forbid, knock onto a quilt project you're working on. It comes with this really cool ruler. This is our eight inch ruler. I'm gonna put it onto a white surface so you can actually potentially read it. So there you go. So he's got ruler markings on it, one to eight inches, and then it's got quarter inch lengthwise markings on it. So you could even potentially use this for doing kind of ruler work stuff too. That comes uh, with it as well. It goes in this awesome little ruler slot. And then um, you could also secure th uh, things like your Chaco liner right there. So I'm going to give you a different angle on it again, because it is clear. Sometimes it's hard to see, but this is our new table caddy. So you can put this anywhere you want on a so city table. I thought it would secure quite nicely to the side of the machine area here where you're not going to have anything in the way, but you know, depending on your setup, and you know what you're looking for, then um, you might wanna go ahead and put it in a different location. So this again is that ruler that comes with it. Um, and then we have this cute little cup holder and little pen slot. So the caddy and the ruler itself um, are a brand new item and we're gonna give one away today, right? Oh yeah. So this is strictly for the the state the extension tables, not for use on a frame. Uh, everyone's saying how much they love their so steady table, and so do I, Stacy. And if I didn't get to your questions, don't worry. I'm going to go through those this evening and answer all of those in the comments. So, so Stacy, what did they have to do to win uh, this cool? Well, yeah. Event? So if they just want to like, comment, and share. Um, you can do that on the All Brands page, like, comment, and share on the So City Cabby. And then if you're on the So City page, then you can go ahead and do it on our page as well. And let's just pick two winners, one from each of the pages. Okay. How right does that sound? All right. So um, I have got our So City Caddy there again. You're going to win the awesome little caddy that you can secure to the um, bottom side of any of your So City tables. And it comes with this cool ruler and a couple additional slots for other things that you might want to store right there at the table area. All right. So let me, you want, how many winners do we pick today? We're going to have two winners. Oh, thank you. And yeah. if you don't win, don't worry. We do sell these um, <laughs> and they're in the link below of the video. So, okay. Um, okay. Let me pick a random person and let's see. Mm, Lori May with the kitty and the, is that geraniums? They're so beautiful. Congratulations. You won the first a uh, caddy to put on your so steady extension table. So just direct message so steady or allbrands.com and we'll get that sent over to you. And we need your name, email address, phone number, and address. To Perfect. Check. All right. So here's our second one. <laughs> and Stacy, I know you have a live to go to. No. Yeah, we really? do. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing another live on the So City page in like five or two minutes. So oh, join us over there whenever you're uh, done with this one, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Wendy Munson is our second winner. Excellent. Uh, congratulations, when when Wendy Munson. And that must be a peony, I think. I don't know my flowers today. Oh, those are beautiful. <laughs> I love it. We've got flowers galore. Let's get spring going. I'm ready. 
so ready. <laughs> but I am having fun quilting. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I agree with that. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for letting us come on today. We appreciate it. I'm going to switch my camera view here so you can see my face. All right. We'll look forward to hopefully being able to um, share some more awesomeness with you guys here soon. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to it. And it's always wonderful to see you, Stacy. You Thank too, Barbara. Thank you for everything that you create to make our lives easier and, and be willing to just, you know, she called me like a few days ago. She's like, let's do a live. And then she called me today. She's like, hey, Nathan's going to be on the show. So thank you so much for going to bed for us, going to bed for the customers. So I just love We your love teaming up with you guys and really all of the manufacturers in our industry. You know, we see everybody as our partners and we look forward to any of these opportunities. So thank you, Barbara. Right. We appreciate it. Yeah, so I think Stacy's going to tune out, but I have a, an amazing combo okay. deal that I'm going to tell everybody. Perfect. Well, then thank you again. We'll see you later. Thank you. All right, everybody. So I promised you an amazing special. We always try to bring the best deals. So All Brands um, has gotten all these new products together and um, made a combo special for you. So I'll show you um, those. So our combo deal is the cutie frame with the Brother PQ 1500 SL sewing machine. So that is a nine inch mid arm professional high speed sewing machine from Brother. It is phenomenal. It has pen feed. It's, um, it's got uh, thread trimmers on the machine. It has the drop feed so you can do free motion quilting. Um, you get a speed control with that. Um, and that just limits your speed so that when you move the machine around, it helps to regulate if you are maintaining a certain speed for free motion quilting. Um, and that speed control is available for a number of different machines, but it has to have a certain prong. So if you are wanting a speed control for your machine, just check the compatibility on the page for that. Uh, we're also throwing in that ruler base, which is a hundred dollar value. Um, so when you get our special, you save $170 and you can finance that for 12 months, 0% financing. And that's only $142 per month before tax. So if you're outside of Louisiana or Texas and you purchase this from allbrands.com, you don't have to pay sales tax on that. Um, and it's free shipping in the continental USA. So our website won't charge you sales tax on shipping. You can utilize the, um, the financing. I'm just jumbling over my words today. So let me just come back in and I'm going to, I'm going to check a few questions before we transition out of the video. And I, I love, love, love to see all of your wonderful faces. Um, all right, Jean, I think we will. We're going to make a, a deal with the Juki machine uh, and it will be very similarly priced. So uh, <laughs> if you don't see it on our website soon, just message me directly um, that you're interested and I'll, I'll create that page for you and send you the link. Uh, let's see. So can you use the ruler base with or without the frame? So the ruler base... Uh, it is meant to fit on that carriage of the cutie frame that moves your machine around. Otherwise, if your machine is stationary, you should get a um, just the standard so steady extension table. Like I have the large here, um, but the wish, the so steady wish extension table has that promotion until March. Um, Good question, Wendy. And you have to tell me what that flower is because it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, absolutely. That is why the cutie was made um, so that you can use it with domestic machines and you can put it on uh, your tabletop surfaces um, and you can put it away when you want to use your tabletop maybe for eating dinner because <laughs> I know a lot of you use your kitchen tables for sewing. I know sometimes I I utilize that. Um, so let's see. Uh, so let's see. Uh, the Q zone. 
Yes. So those of you who have the Q zone frames, you can and are utilizing that. The Q zone is basically the step up from the QD, uh, which we have on our website, All Brands. And basically, you can use uh, the ruler base, the domestic ruler base on the on any frame. It's just the the only the frames that are good for domestic machines is the the Q zone and the cutie. So I hope that that, so Gertie, thank you for asking. Um, the, we are all brands.com. Uh, we're a family owned and operated business uh, since 1976. We've been selling sewing machines uh, online since basically the beginning of the internet. We were the first sewing machine retailer for sewing machines. Um, and yeah, so we would hope that you would consider purchasing from us, and we sincerely appreciate any and all of your businesses. Um, let's see. Does the, okay, so I am going to post the dimensions um, on the comments after the video, and yeah, and then I'll, I'll make sure that I go through and, and answer all of your questions after the video, but I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a beautiful day and keep on sewing and continue to be inspired. And All Brands will be here for you to show you what's the latest and greatest in sewing, quilting and embroidery and all things creative. So we love you so much and have a wonderful day.